What's going on everybody? Today I wanted to make an ESO video as we're kind of coming to an end, at least if you're watching this when this video comes out on November 4th, 2023, we are coming to the end of the Witches Festival. We've got this weekend, a little bit next week, but I just wanted to get us in the right mindset for the next event. This is event season. We've got the ESO Gates of Oblivion event coming up next. This will probably be, you know, towards the end of November going into December. And then we'll see the New Life Festival later this year. So this is going to be an unofficial um, event guide for this. And I just kind of wanted to go over what to expect, what we're going to be looking at, what we're going to be doing, all that stuff. An official guide will come out um, on this channel as soon as Zoss actually releases and updates an article and all that stuff. So we're going to be going off information we got on the PTS um, and anything from ESO Hub here. I will be linking this article below in the description so that y'all can come check this out. This will be updated online as well once the event goes live and we get a lot more information about it and um, Zoss's article. Okay, let's get right into it. So the ESO Gates of Oblivion event is a celebration of the Blackwood chapter in ESO and is a bigger event that will unlock many new rewards by earning the Blackwood Pathfinder achievement. In this event, you'll be able to earn event tickets by completing Deadlands and Blackwood content, which you'll then be able to spend to obtain special rewards. Perfect. Okay. How to get started. Just like pretty much everything, there's going to be under the events tab in the Crown Store, you can find quest starters. And the event quest for this event specifically is going to be called Burdensome Beasts. To get started, um, you'll need to complete a daily quest and you'll automatically start earning rewards. Also, I just want to draw attention to this again because it seemed like a lot of people were really, really confused about this when Witches Festival went live. In any of the events going forward where there is going to be double XP, like New Life Festival, I'm not quite sure yet if this one is going to have double XP, but New Life Festival will. That is going to be a passive buff. We're no longer expected to use any tools, mementos, nothing like that. Um, I think it's a great quality of life adjustment because, and I've said this in other videos, there was a lot of times where I'd be running maybe like a random normal with an alt and I'd forget to redo the buff right before the end of the dungeon, it would expire and then I would miss that huge boost of XP because of that. The one thing I would say to Zoss is please add some sort of buff that we can physically see that we have double XP. I know it's always there, but I think it would be a nice visual cue, especially for people that maybe aren't seeing this video, didn't read the PTS notes and all of that stuff. Okay. All right, the extra rewards. While the Gate of Oblivion event is active, all players will be able to access the following bonuses in the Blackwood and Deadlands zones. You're going to get extra drops, so basically double drops from world bosses and delve bosses. You're going to get double drops from resource nodes. You're going to get double um, coffers from daily quests, double drops from Rock Grove, which is great. I know if you're a tank like me, um, farming out that Saxleal is going to be even easier. The Undaunted event is a fantastic time to get double drops in dungeons, but it's event, uh, events like this, the um, zone events, where you're able to get double drops in the raids or trials, whatever you want to call it. Um, but the cool thing here is we're also going to get double drops in Dread Cellar, Red Petal Bastion, Black Drake Villa, and The Cauldron. There's a ton of really, really good sets in all four of those dungeons, so I highly recommend farming that out. I know I'll be probably finishing the sticker books in here. I've already got Dread Cellar done, but I'll try to probably knock out Rock Grove, Red Petal Bastion, Black Trick Villa, and the Cauldron. Okay, ESO Gates of Oblivion reward boxes. In the ESO Gates of Oblivion event, you'll be able to earn special reward boxes containing various rewards that aren't normally obtainable. So we'll go over how to earn these and what will be in them. How to earn them so the first one can be earned by completing a daily quest either in Blackwood or Deadlands. Daily quests that'll be available here are going to be things like killing a world boss, doing an oblivion portal, doing the delve boss. Um, in Blackwood, there's going to be a little more choice with that kind of stuff. There's going to be more dailies, but then in Deadlands, it's primarily going to be um, restricted to um, delves and um, the world boss. All right, subsequent daily quests and dungeon completions will instead reward a purple quality box, 
So again, this is going to be gold quality the first time you do it. Um, and the second um, gold quality box, you can get two per day. That's actually fantastic. And you have to kill the final boss in one of the four dungeons here. Dread Cellar, Red Petal Bastion, Black Drake, and Cauldron. Okay, so then, like they just said, you can get purple quality boxes from all these things. Delve bosses, world bosses, and resource nodes. So that's great. So those of you that aren't huge on the combat, maybe just like the more chill aspects, housing, all that stuff, you'll be able to get double resources and event boxes just from the resource nodes. All right, it looks like we got the new style here. If raised fallen wood style, okay. Definitely would die in a different color, but I think a lot of the styles are pretty cool. Um, I like the belt, I think the boots are pretty cool. I think the helmet's pretty cool. Rest of it's okay, all right. There is not yet an exhaustive list of all of the rewards that are gonna come, but you can get the Ifres Fallen Wood style motif out of here, so that's great. All right, Gates of Oblivion event tickets. So obviously you'll be able to get event tickets. You're gonna be able to get a maximum of two event tickets per daily reset. Either do a daily quest, complete the Rock Groove, weekly quest, or any of the final dungeon bosses here. During this event at the Impresario, we're going to be able to purchase bound style pages. You know, if your RNG is just absolutely trash, you can go there and purchase individual style pages for different parts of the motif for five event tickets each. You can get all the fragments of the Passion Dancer Blossom Pet, just like every event this year. Um, and then both of the first two fragments. So currently in Witches Festival, we're able to get the Blessed Honeycomb. Um, and it looks like we're going to be able to get the Gilded and Dyed Saddle for 10 event tickets in this next event. So I already have 12 just sitting around waiting, so I'll be able to purchase that right when that comes. That's fantastic. We've got a grab bag, Gates of Oblivion grab bag. This is gonna be a random reward from a previous year's event that you do not already own. So that is curated, which is fantastic. Two event tickets each. Um, companion Guild commendations and the Impresario's group repair kit. This is the Horde Hunter Ursoc. It's just a white bear mount, basically. So there's three, um, three portions or three parts in order to actually make the mount. We got the first one in this event, the second one's gonna be coming in the next, and I assume we'll just get the third one, and all three will be available during um, New Life Festival. All right, now we've got the Indric Vendor. This is gonna be located in Belkarth within Craglorn. You can find them there. You're gonna be able to get the Crimson Indric and Pure Snow Indric berries. So here's the Crimson Indric. I've always thought the Crimson one was super cool. The Frost one's okay, but the Crimson Indric is definitely one of my favorites, for sure. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, just wanted to kind of give y'all a quick look at what's going on in this event. Let me know what you thought. I'm really excited for this. Definitely hypothesizing that this will probably be sometime in late November around Thanksgiving if you're in the US, um, and it will go into early December. Very excited, love event season, be able to get more of the mount. Styles are all looking good, and also obviously being able to farm out a lot of the pieces for some of that really, really good content is gonna be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, there will be an official guide coming up once we get a little bit more information closer to the event, but I just wanted to get y'all in the mindset. All right, see y'all in the next one.